Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 34 of Let's Play Secret of Mana. And uh, off screen I went and got like everything restocked here, all my chocolate and everything else that I could. Cups of Wishes especially, because I'm kind of scared of this place after what I saw last time. And uh, I saved, I also got my orbs that I had infused. Uh, all I had I think was the, the glove and the spear. Which is, the spear got like a really scary name, it was like Gygus or Gigas Lance or something, it seemed really powerful. So that's cool. And I think the glove is like the Hyper Glove now, which is phenomenally powerful sounding, as it should be at this point, I guess. And um, a lot of you told me that I needed to train up my magic, but uh, I have not done that. I, I'm gonna see how far I can get based on what I'm at now, what my armor is like and what my magic is like now. Not sure how far that's going to be, but that's why I saved beforehand, so we should be all good in case I fail here. And also something that I've been thinking about lately between recordings is that this game has just felt a little too segmented to me. Like, um, just, just because of the way I'm recording it, like I only record little bits and pieces at a time. Oh wow, <laughs> fancy finding this here. The seal's melting, we're not going to make it. What? No good, it's too late. I can't move though. What? Wait, who are you? You look like an overgrown fern as a human. I am Dryad, the tree spirit. The seals on the world on the world's seeds have been broken. The continent that sleeps beneath this place will soon rise. Leave now. Yeah, what about you, man? I guess. Oh man, Captain goes down with his ship, as they say. Aww. Don't just give up, man. Come on. Think rational, like. Let's get you out of here. Come on. Alright, yeah. Gain Dryad's powers. Alright. Alright, he can come with us. Sweet. Uh oh. Call Flammy? What? Oh, man. Well, uh, somehow the power of a continent rising didn't seem to have as much of an impact as I would thought, as I would have thought, but let's land and see what there is here anyways. What has happened now? Whoa, Gemma? What, really? Is that you? Dude, can I, can I talk? The sunken continent has surfaced. The fortress is there. I can see that. I brought the traps here, the troops here to keep the Empire from taking the mana fortress. There's an, there's an ancient city under the Grand Palace. We must get into it. Emperor Vandal is working to, to for the Underworld. This place is full of monsters. Though your sword isn't fully powered, you need to st it to stop the Emperor. We'll fight off the Imperial troops here. You catch up with, the, with those soldiers. Oh man, so we're going deep into the core of this place. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I guess no time to spare then. Let's just head on in. This is the way we're supposed to go in, right? Can't go any further? Yeah, okay. I guess we'll have to head around someplace. Anyways, like I was saying before I got interrupted by some pretty heavy plot stuff, I guess I picked terrible times to discuss things regarding out-of-game experience. Um, the, just the way I've been recording this like 20 minutes or so at a time, it's felt way too segmented to me. And now that we're getting into this rather epic portion of the game, it seems like, I think I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do now. Uh, someone told me in the comments that these things are not to be trifled with, really. But I'm going to I'm gonna see what I can do with him anyways. He'll bide time, if nothing else. So what I think I'm going to do right now in this recording is I'm just going to record and record and record and I'll segment the episodes however I have to. So there's not going to be any outros or intros for the next little while, which might irk some people I know. But what can I say? I just want it to be more fluid. I want to get into the game a little bit. I want to be able to experience it. So I might go for like an hour or two here. I don't even know. Depending on how long my voice holds out, I guess. Yeah, he's not going anywhere anytime soon, so... Oh! Say, say that, and he just dies straight up. How about that? How about damn apples? Oh, well, right now, this, these monsters don't seem too, too bad. I mean, these big knights. Oh, yeah, wall. That's what I kept missing. 
like all last episode is like when my magic was being repelled and everything. It was all these dudes casting wall. I never even noticed it appear up there until like editing and watching it back and everything. And I'm like, oh wall. That probably would explain why it's repelling in the first place. Not they don't just have, just have some innate ability to repel magic. It's just, I was just being a blunderbuss and not reading the text. Speaking of not reading the text, I totally missed the fact that that bird like was actually sage ject. Argon reaches level 40. Sweet. I totally, totally missed that and I got called out on it in the comments and everything. I feel so embarrassed about that, man. Oh, we reached the bottom of the fortress here. I guess we got a whole big land to explore still. Hey, man. We'll secure this place. Alright. Uh, whoa. Jeez, dude. Oh, you f stupid fish. Why do you gotta fight for the underworld like this? You're better than this. Well, I guess not anymore. Now you're kind of dead. What's better, underworld or dead? I don't know. I guess one goes beyond the other. Depending on which way you look at it. Ooh, we can go down here. Dang, man. I have a feeling this place is going to be pretty lengthy. I'm not sure exactly how lengthy, but I mean, you don't use the word continent sparingly. Continents are usually pretty big, except, I guess, in, in perspective, maybe Australia is not that big. Can I not get past this? Do I need the axe again? So we're always worth the shot, right? Oop, don't skip the weapon menu. Here we go, the werebuster. Yeah, you do need that stupid axe. Alright. Oh, I recognize this guy. He's like, he appeared way early on in the game. And wow. Man, fancy seeing that little bounce of dude. And it's kind of, oh, what? Oh, I just slipped down that waterfall. Can I like not get across there yet, I guess? Give it one last Harlem Globetrotter shot here. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. I was just being dumb about it before. Not thinking about the physical properties of water. Oh, there's another orb to get infused later, I guess. So eat. Whoa. Um, do I follow the gray path? I feel like I'm being led along some sort of path here. Uh, whoa. That didn't seem good. Not at all. Oh, hello. Oh, great. More walling. No, I'm not in Shoot. Okay, let's see. Here is stupid engulfed thing. I don't want to be taking damage like a pansy up here. Like a private pansy. God, these things are scary. They, they kind of look like... I don't know, I'm sitting far away from my TV so it's hard to discern anything. Plus I have like the worst eyesight ever. Really need to get that checked. Go to an optometrist again or something. But they look like silly Dodongos. Like clown-faced armored Dodongos or something. Dude, now I can't get up. What What is happening? Can you please just let me go? I, I, I want to switch back to the sword. No, don't. <laughs> there you go. I know I'm going to need the axe probably to get through this place easier, but I don't mind switching it up every now and then. Switching off and on back to the axe. Alright, I don't want to be wasting my metal herbs too, too much, because... They could become a last resort sort of thing, so let's just use Remedy. Of course, I suppose it would be better to waste items than to waste mana, or MP, at this point, anyways. Dude, these things do not let up! What in the world? Is pro What's your problem, man? Jeez Louise. Mm, they go just go into hurricane mode, and I can't stop them. And Sydney didn't heal me! Come on. Ah, oh, I hate it when I do that. I input spells and then something cancels it out. I never notice it until well after it's happened, but something always cancels it out. That damned something. Steel peon? <laughs> Come on. You can't think of a cool name like Gigafant or something. Of course, that just sounds even sillier, probably. Gigafant. Where did I draw? Did I just draw that name out of my ass? I don't know. I couldn't possibly have, I must have heard that somewhere before. What is that thing? Oh, that's one of those like stupid armored samurai birds that tore me to shreds when I was stumbling around looking for uh, that mushroom plate. I always forget what it was called. I don't know. It's the dark gloomy mushroom place, I just recognize him from there, except he looks like a bit stronger version of him, or a palette swap at the very least. Did you guys get around to this coral or whatever it is? I suppose it probably actually is coral, just because this place has been submerged in the ocean for so long. Man, all sorts of weird creatures around here, and I am getting my ass whooped by them, I tell you what. 
see what I can do. Yeah, my cure water is not as high at level as it probably should be, but it'll manage, I think. Basilisk? Oh, man. That's something that's always been weird to me about basilisks. Not not to mention just the, the sheer amount of pronunciation that goes into their name. Like, when you think about it, basilisk. It's like, there's so many, like, weird syllables that you just sort of glaze over and go, like, basilisk. But, like, if you put it together syllable, like, it's like, basilisk. Uh, it's just, uh... And then not to, and then going just beyond that to their actual physical appearance, they just always appear like different every time you see them anywhere. Like you get the like, the huge, scary monolithic basilisk from Harry Potter, and then you get these little toad things, and then you sometimes get like weird, not even basilisks. They're more like cockatrices. Dude, I'm gonna get washed away by the current now. Oh no! Shoot! 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 Uh oh. Uh. Well, this can't be good. <laughs> I'm stuck. Well, alright, now let's all get washed away together, like Huckleberry Finn or something. Now, where'd that put me? At least it has the sense, they have the sense not to get washed down that hole. Alright. I think this is probably just the other side of that area that I was in that I was axing through. I wonder why some of them were like different colors, though. Like, there were the gray ones that were leading me on, and the red ones that made, it, made me think, like, ooh, you don't want to touch this ground over here. It's gonna burn you. It's nasty. Not steel pin. There we go. Sydney reached level 40. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, Star Fox. Star Fox. Uh, oh god. See that steel scorpion thing where they just balloon up and spin around? It's just not fair, man. It's not fair. I think Wall probably also increases their physical defense, too. If I had to guess. Because they seem to take less and less damage when they when they cast wall, instead of just reflecting magic. But we'll wear them down slowly but surely. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's around this place. Whoa! Shoot! I just don't want to deal with these guys, man. Can I please get around you? You're not gonna wall my progress, are you? Oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay. Dude. Can you please walk around him? Thank you. Oh, God. I guess this is what it comes down to when you don't grind up enough. You just start walking around everything else. Oh, are you kidding me? There's nothing over here. I actually have to cross the river from that side. Well, dang, flab it. Alright, I guess we don't have much of a choice in the matter. I should actually probably focus on... I should charge up my sword and stuff whenever I get the chance to. Shouldn't I? Oh, well, pfft, I didn't even realize that the monster died in the time I was charging up the sword. Stupid me. But there's, if I remember right, there should be another one down here anyways. Yeah, look at that. Bam! Oh, man, that was a nice slice. Nice slice and dice power stab. Gotta love it. Oh, man, they just get... <laughs> they just get in your way so easily, these monsters. It's kind of funny. That's what I'm, something I'm always, I'm always paranoid about when I'm recording now. Now that I'm in college, is that there are people just listening to me through these paper-thin walls, which I probably are, and they think I'm some sort of psychotic nutcase. But I'm not. Well, I am a psychotic nutcase. I, I can't really deny that claim, but... I mean, have you listened to the way I've been talking for this, these past, like, 600 videos, however long it's been? Jeez Louise. Dude, dude, we're not dragging the, the basilisk is not gonna join our party. I'm sorry, we have to kill it. It can't be a pet. Have to get rid of that damn thing. Dude, he's trying to fly away. Look, he doesn't even want to be with us. Just get him away from here. Jeez. Okay, how am I gonna go about this? Do I just can I sprint across? No. Unless dude bullshit. This piece of fanatic opera. Did he, just, did he just shove his tail into the ground and up, like, two, free, two feet in front of him? His tail is not that long. Unless he's got a coil deep within his body. In which case, I don't even know. Is that a euphemism for something? Damned waterfalls. Tell you what. If I had the iron boost, this would be no problem. Alright, let me think. Come on. You can get up there. Just swim against it. Just, like, make a jump. Jump across that little gap. All right, I guess we're going. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. I mean, maybe it's that thing. That thing, like, in the side there. Never really paid much mind to that. Yes, this makes, this makes sense. We're just slowly trucking. Well, there we go. Oh, it was that stupid red 
freaking pimple in the wall. That dumb dimple. Those dimple dumb alliteration. Uh. All right, I fi I figured out your dumb puzzle, you stupid basilisks. Now leave me alone. <laughs> Jeez, why they even like fly down here after me? Anyways, they're like, oh, we figured out the secret. We gotta kill them now. <laughs> but before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you basilisks, egatrices. Oh God! Oh, Edge sees the Reaper. That, oh, it's gonna be a waste of one of my stupid uh, cups of wishes. Before I do that, anything that I'm probably just gonna heal up here really quick. Might as well. All right, let's just see if I can get out of here really quick. Oh, weapon skill up, not bad. And then let's heal up Edge. Dude, those basilisks are fast as lightning. Oh God, get out of here. You stoop. I don't even- why can't you die? Oh, uh, and why do you keep laying eggs? Let's just run, guys. Just run. Run. Oh, God. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have another run in with the, one of those switches. Uh, God, God. Which one is it? Is it- is this one? There we go. Okay, sweet. Gotta note that little red thing in the wall there. That's the secret. Okay. Like, I'm trying to explain the game now after that fiasco. Oh, no.